Our top story this morning. Police confirmed on Tuesday that a body found in southern Korea is that of Yu byung on the billionaire owner of the Sewolho ferry that sank so tragically back in April. The 73-year-old's badly decomposed body was discovered well over a month ago in a plum orchard surrounded by bottles of alcohol. Choi Yoo-sun reports. The practical owner of the Sewolho ferry that sank in April, killing more than 300 passengers, has been found dead. On the evening of July 21st, the National Police Agency informed us that the DNA from a body found in Suncheon matched to that of Yu byung -hun's. Authorities also confirmed that a fingerprint taken from the body found in a field in Korea's southwestern city of Suncheon on June 12 also matched to that of the 73-year-old. Shortly after the sinking of the Sewolho ferry on April 16, a massive manhunt was launched for Yu and his family members on possible charges of embezzlement and criminal negligence. Yu is the former head of Semo Group, which is the predecessor of the Sewolho ferry operator. Authorities, meanwhile, still don't know when or how Yu died, but they found bottles of alcohol, a health product made by a company linked to his religious group, and parts of his book near his badly decomposed body. Although it took nearly 40 days to confirm Yu's identity, the prosecution and police now face public criticism for wasting more than a month searching for a dead man. Unaware of Yu's whereabouts, prosecutors renewed a six-month arrest warrant for Yu earlier this week. With news of the ferry owner's death, attention now shifts to the prosecution's investigation into finding the Yu family at fault for the ferry accident and providing compensation for the victims. Authorities are still hunting for Yu byung -un's eldest son, Taegyun, who has a $98,000 bounty on him. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.